A Shanghai lady socialite WeChat group has become top trending on Chinese social media after a blogger exposed its operations. From splitting the costs for an afternoon high tea at the Ritz to sharing a Gucci pantyhose, these girls are taking the phrase fake it till you make it a bit too literally. Hello everyone, welcome to World of China. In today's video, we're talking about an extremely interesting topic, fake rich of China, the secret lives and lies of Shanghai socialites. To know the full story, stay tuned with me and hit the subscribe button. Recently, a hot topic on Weibo and other Chinese social media channels has been the revelation that many of the rich people you see flaunting their wealth on the internet are fake. This event is not particular to China. Instagram is covered in girls having afternoon tea with their besties in some high-end hotels or restaurants with a full face of makeup and an Hermes or Dior bag at their side. But what is unique to China is just how people are staging these images and creating these fake realities. In China, the fastest way to appear rich on social media is, of course, a WeChat group. How to become part of Shanghai's super-rich social circles? Some people think joining a WeChat group is the way to go. A Shanghai female socialite WeChat group has gone mega-trending on Chinese social media after a blogger went undercover in the group for two weeks, giving netizens a peek inside a world that's all about faking it. The topic reached over 1.2 billion views on Weibo within a very short time. Now, let's dive into the sting operation. The Chinese blogger Li Zhonger invested 500 yuan or $75 and pretended to be a girl to become a member of the WeChat group after one of his readers tipped him off about its existence. The group profiles itself as the Shanghai female socialite group that's all about young, fashion, money. The profile poster states that the WeChat group is a place to share information about Hermes, Dior, etc., any luxury products, to have afternoon tea together, to get to know social media influencers, and to share updates on wealthy and eligible bachelors. If we look into the concept, it's not new for China. The idea of Ming Yuan originates from the ancient concept of high-born young ladies or Ming Men Guishu. The term emerged in the 1920s and 1930s and was typically associated with Shanghai's high society. It usually applied to pretty ladies of noble birth or from a wealthy background who often play a prominent role in the nation or are frequently involved in fashionable social gatherings. This WeChat group had a 500 yuan membership fee. New members are required to provide proof of having at least 100,000 yuan or $15,000 in their savings account. Faking such as documentation is probably not too difficult. Most of the active members of the Shanghai Ladies WeChat group appear to be anything but nouveau riche, nor old rich for that matter. Li Zhonger discovered that instead of being an actual WeChat group for rich girls to talk about their latest Louis Vuitton bags, the group is all about finding ways to appear rich. Part of its sharing resources and splitting the costs of experiences where these luxury-loving girls can post photos of themselves, it turned out to be a high-end version of Pinduoduo. Duo. Pinduoduo, Duo, sometimes referred to as the Groupon of China, is an interactive group buying shopping platform that offers quality goods at extremely low prices. As exposed by Li Zhonger, the members of the WeChat group would do things such as sharing the cost for an afternoon high tea at the Ritz Carlton. The high tea, which is meant for two people, was split among six people, with each person paying 85 yuan or $12.5. The girls then took turns to attend the high tea, with the first girls promising not to touch any of the food so the other girls could still take pictures of it once it was their turn to show up at the Ritz. In these groups, people organize photo shoots with each other, split the costs of renting hotel rooms, luxury bags, etc. For example, a Wang Hong Hotel in China is the Bulgari Hotel in Shanghai. Girls like to take the following images wearing the Bulgari towels lying on the bed, having oriental tea with the oriental pearl in the back, their breakfast, celebrating their birthday at the hotel. When they're taking these photos, for example, wearing the Bulgari towel or having afternoon tea or having breakfast, 
They follow strict rules not to make the towel wet and not to eat the food so that everyone else gets a chance to post with it. Likewise, the booking costs for a 3,000 yuan hotel room at the Ritz were shared among 15 members of the WeChat group, with each person paying 200 yuan or $30. The price for a room at the glamorous and expensive Bulgari Hotel Shanghai was shared with no less than 40 people, each person paying 125 yuan or $18 just to go up, take a pic, and share their location on social media. The madness does not stop there. Fleishogar also exposed how the group members would rent one designer bag with four persons, passing them on to each other to wear on a date with a planned boyfriend. So, how about renting a white Ferrari for one day with 60 people? For 100 yuan or $15 per person, each lady got to take a picture to post on social media. The girls even went as far as sharing the costs for a second-hand Gucci pantyhose, while also discussing how guys driving a BMW or Benz are just not good enough. Screenshots by Li Zhongher show one member discussing how she refused one Rolex wearing men's day to request because he drove a BMW rather than a Ferrari and declined to go shopping with her. The poor BMW owners are often cheap, several members agreed. One WeChat group can hold a maximum of 500 people. Popular groups such as the one described here are sometimes split up into multiple groups, A, B, and C, so that more than 500 people can participate. Since Li Zhongher posted his article in WeChat on Sunday, it's become all the talk on Chinese social media. One post about the topic on Weibo reached over 1.4 million likes. Although many people laugh about the matter, many criticize these Shanghai women for pretending to be rich and chasing after money to increase their social status to find a wealthy husband. Some commented, they're faking their appearances, but they're just faking themselves. Others are not surprised that these kinds of groups are popular. Did you think this was rare? There are so many of these groups. Although this group goes to extremes, the fake socialite life is not just a Shanghai thing. Since some years ago, it was reported that influencers in Russia were booking grounded jets for photo shoots. More recently, some influencers in the US were exposed for renting a photo studio made to look like a private plane for their Instagram photos. In today's market economy, consumer goods have become common symbols of social status, leading upwardly mobile youngsters to believe that they can match a wealthier partner's background simply by spending. Flight attendant Yuan Shun and model Fang Yuan, who are married to Hong Kong entertainers Wilbur Pan and Aaron Kwok, are cited as successful examples such as modern Cinderella's. However, these arguments have been met with little sympathy. A lot of people also think what they perceive as the women's dishonesty and worship of wealth as well as their attempts to use their fake socialite persona to pick up rich men. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. Give this video a big thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. For more exciting videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I'm dropping new videos regularly. Explore the channel for more exciting videos and show some love. Thank you.